Hmm, how long does Final Cut Pro take to export is a loaded question because it depends on so many different things. First, I'll show you why export time is hard to nail down, and then I'll share an export example, and at the end I'll share five tips to make your exports faster. So your export time is going to depend on so many different things, like your operating system or your Final Cut Pro version. It also depends on your CPU, the brain of your computer. The more cores you have in a CPU, the faster the export is going to be. It also depends on how much RAM you have in your computer. The more RAM, the faster the export. It also depends on how much space you have on your disk and what kind of disk you have. It also depends on your project duration. Do you have a really long project or a little short one? If it's short, it's gonna be a faster export. It depends what's in your project. Do you have 10 p footage or 8K footage? Do you have a ton of titles, effects, color grading? All of that plays into how long it will take to export. It also depends on the codec of your footage. It depends on what your footage was shot in, and it depends where your footage is stored and what footage codec you're going to export to. All right, so here is my computer. It's a 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's got an M1 Pro chip in it. I have 16 gigs of RAM and I'm on Ventura 13.3. All right, we're in Final Cut Pro. Let's do a test export. I've got this project set up. It's about two minutes long and I have titles in there. I have transitions. I have some effects. I have some color grading that's been done. You'll notice also here that it's not completely rendered. I've deleted the render files. We can tell that because of the dots up here and I'm going to export it like this at first so that I can show you the difference. I wanna time this as well, so I've got a stopwatch here. So I'm gonna press Command E to export, and for settings, I'm gonna do web hosting, H.264, better quality, and I want for action to open it in QuickTime Player so I can see when it's done and press stop on the stopwatch. Okay, I'm gonna press enter. All right, we'll call it export time one. All right, now I'm gonna press enter and then click as quickly as I can. All right, so we're probably off by about a second, but you can tell Final Cut is exporting up here in the corner, this little icon. You can click on that also, and you can see that it's sharing or exporting, and it tells us the percentage as well. So we're right at about 65% and 20 seconds in. All right, stop. Okay, all right, I was a little late starting it and then a little late ending it, so I think we're pretty good. So that was 36 seconds to export this two minute video. Are you enjoying this race? Has this video been helpful so far? If so, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see the video? Thanks, in just a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to fix export issues. But first, I wanna show you one trick for speeding it up. So you'll notice in my timeline, I have these dots up here. That means that section has not been rendered. I can render my timeline before exporting it to make it faster. If I want to render that selection, I can just select the clips in there and then go up to modify and select render selection or press control R. I can also render the entire timeline by pressing control shift R or selecting render all. I'm gonna push that and you can see it immediately start to render and the dots are going away in the timeline. All right, now let's do this again. Press Command E, press next. This time we'll call it number two. Let's reset and I will press enter to save and start. Let's bring up our progress right here. We're at 40% and 10 seconds. Almost there, all right, we're done. Stop, oh, stop. <laughs> we were at about 32 seconds. All right, so it was four seconds faster, it's not, anything to write home about, but over time, four seconds here, 10 seconds, a minute, two minutes, that can all add up and save time. So I know what you're thinking. You had to wait for it to render and then export it. The time difference, it doesn't matter, it's a wash. But there's something you can do in Final Cut Pro to make it work. In Final Cut Pro, open preferences by pressing command comma. Then go to the playback tab. And right here, you'll see this rendering. Turn on background render, and then set your start time to a few seconds. Now, whenever you're in Final Cut Pro and you're editing, and you make some changes, you'll see we have the render dots up here. And now whenever I take a break from editing, Final Cut Pro will automatically start to render those in the background. So that's one way to speed up your exports is to have that background render on. But you might come across some slow exports. And one of the biggest reasons is you don't have enough disk space. Oh, it is so frustrating. But Final Cut needs a lot of disk space in order to save the files and it needs some room. It can't be too tight. So you can manage your disk space. Click on the Apple menu up here and then about this Mac. Then click on more info and under general, go to storage. Here you can see how much storage you have, how much is used, what it's used on, what's taking up space. And then down here we can see what's taking up a lot of space. Check this out. 
documents is nearly 85 gigabytes. So let's click on that and it opens this up and it shows us our large files. Check this out. My largest files are these libraries. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to tame a growing massive library. But you can scroll through here and you can see large files that maybe you don't want or need anymore. So let's say I don't want this one. I can get rid of it. So I'll select it and then all I have to do is click delete. Are you sure? Yes, delete is gone. And then we can go down here to trash and I can click on empty trash. And now I've freed up all that space on my hard drive. Check out this library here, my tutorials library. It's getting kind of big. It's at 23 gigabytes, right? Well, let me show you how to calm that thing down. Go back into Final Cut Pro, select your library and go to file and then select delete generated library files. Enable delete render files, select all and let's delete proxy and optimized media. Then press OK and let Final Cut Pro do its thing. And that will shrink up your library, making it smaller and more manageable. You'll notice the lines came back in this project because I deleted the render files. Render clips are files that Final Cut Pro makes so that the playback can be smooth. Another reason why your exports might be slow is the location. If you have your library on one location and your footage on another, that can slow things down. This happens a lot of time if you have like an external hard drive. So to bring all of it together in one spot, in Final Cut Pro, click on your library, and go to file, select consolidate library media, and then to select your media destination. Where do you want it to save? I want it to save in my library and I'll include the original media, but I won't include these optimized or proxy media. And then I'll click OK. Now Final Cut Pro will go out and find all those files, bring them together and put them inside your Final Cut Pro library. All right, my last piece of advice is to get a solid state drive. They are faster, less prone to damage, and they will save you so much time. Try and get one terabyte. That gives you plenty of space to work on, have your projects on, and a little bit of room to grow. All right, now that you know how long it takes Final Cut to export, and you know how to speed up your exports, now it's time to improve your video quality. I made this video, and I have five pro pointers showing how to improve your video quality. Check it out. It's professional. <laughs>